getting bit and the line's coming off my reel here. Chris is biting it, going down on it. Here we go. Hopefully it's another calico. We're just fishing here real close to Avalon. See the condos right over my shoulder. And we're just picking away at the calico bass. And even though we have a boatload full of live squid, the fish seem to really want the anchovies. Nice color on this fish. And they gotta be 14 inches, and this one's probably 12. It was probably legal last year. Go ahead and let this one go. Got a fish going here using a fly line bait, fly line anchovy, 20 pound test line. There he is, deep color right there. Little calico. There's another one right here. All right. There's a kid's fish. Here's my fish. But here's a calico I just caught. There we got another one. And here's the one I just caught, nice little calico bass. And last year this would have been a legal fish, but this year it's too small, we gotta release it. It can only be 14 inches for this year. Last year it was 12, so you're seeing a lot of the fish counts, a lot of released calico bass. It's because these fish now aren't legal. So we have to let them go. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Gale Force at Catalina Island. Build a tackle box and give you a good look at the gear that we're using for today's trip. Today in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today at Catalina Island. We're using live baits and we're targeting some of these surface fish like bonita, calico bass, looking for a barracuda, hopefully we'll find one. But because we're using small baits and we're going after these fish with really sharp teeth like the bonita and the barracuda, I think it's really important that you use a circle hook. Now today I'm using a really thin wire circle hook because we're using really small baits. And this is the difference between a large circle hook and a thin wire. If you use the big circle hook on a little bait, you're just gonna drown it. It's not gonna look natural and you won't catch any fish. With this thin wire hook, even though it looks really small, it works out really good with the smaller baits. It's gonna swim more natural, look attractive to those game fish that are gonna come up and eat it. Again, another thing I like about circle hooks is not only for the teethy fish or creatures like Barracuda and Bonita. I also like them for calico bass because now with the new size limits that they have to be 14 inches, you're going to catch lots of shorts. And because of that, you can use the circle hook, hook them in the corner of the jaw, release them, and you're never going to hurt them. That's another advantage to using circle hooks. So situations like this, I really recommend you use a circle hook. And with the small baits, I really recommend that you use a thin wire circle hook. You can go visit your local tackle store. Lots of different brands, lots of people, different manufacturers make these hooks. Go pick out one that you like, and I'm sure you'll be really successful with it. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. First sculpin of the trip. Maybe it's gotta be 10 inches. Here he comes. Not a big calico bass. 
I just kind of want to explain the process to you on how to do that. It's hard to believe this little fish ate such a big bait. But he did. All right, this guy swallowed the hook really bad, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. And we'll go ahead and release them. Hi, my name is Mike Schott. I'm the director of the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium. Scorpion fish, or sculpin, are another animal you find locally. They eat squid, they eat uh, small crustaceans, they eat small fish like anchovies. These are poisonous fish in, in that they have poison in the spines on their back and the spines on the side of their head. If you were to reach down to take your hook out, if you were lucky enough to catch one of these good eating fish, then you might get a spine in your hand and if the, if the um, poison gets inside, it will actually cause your hand to swell up and you'll get very sick. That's why when people catch these on boats, because they are found in deeper water, uh, the crew many times will come over with gloves and take them off the hook for you.